I'm standing on the northeast face of Highlight Peak, where on Saturday a group of two skiers triggered a large avalanche. Now, what they did is they came up, uh, ascended the saddle, got to the summit, and they began to descend. They triggered some small wind slabs, which was their primary avalanche concern for the day, uh, before deciding to proceed down the face. Now, the first skier descended, and both skiers heard a loud collapse, a large woof, and the face began sliding. The first skier was carried down the slope and was partially buried. The second skier then descended to help his partner out of the snow. Thankfully, he was uninjured and they were able to self-evacuate from here. Now, this avalanche broke uh, 750 feet wide, three to five feet deep, and it ran about 600 vertical feet. So a large avalanche, and what it broke on was a layer of facets. We're gonna take a look at the snowpack next. I'm standing in the crown of the avalanche where we dug a snow pit to investigate what layers this avalanche failed on. And what we found was buried about three feet deep. There's a layer of facets that was buried in January. Now since then, a lot of new snow has fallen, and for the last several weeks, we haven't been seeing avalanches failing on this layer. But that changed, and it changed because we have had over the last two weeks a series of storms and incremental loading, and it finally tipped the, stale, the scales toward instability. The group on Saturday hit the wrong spot and triggered a large avalanche. Going forward, we have two concerns. Uh, the first is that we know that these weak layers had been buried across much of the advisory area, and now they're three to five feet deep. So we have a deep slab avalanche problem. These are challenging because they're hard to test for. Uh, our regular stability tests don't necessarily yield unstable results. Multiple people may descend a slope without triggering an avalanche until somebody hits just the wrong spot. And finally, the signs of instability are limited to non-existent before we trigger a big slide. So the only management strategy that we have for this is avoiding steep terrain. So when this is on the table, make more conservative terrain choices. Now we did find another weak layer that was buried about a foot, foot and a half feet deep here. So that is something you can test for, but right now we're basing our decisions on this deeper slab problem.